today we'll have a look at a pan that I have reviewed before, but it is a new finish. This is the Twisby Eco. The Twisby Eco is a, uh, a cheaper pen in the uh, Twisby lineup. Uh, this one was sent to me by Applebaum Pennon. If you uh, want one, go to my website, click the Applebaum banner and you'll be taken to a discount page. You can get more than 10% discount. Pen comes in a cardboard outer sleeve. Uh, I will not spend too much time on the pen because, I have, as I said, I have reviewed one before with a white cap and a white piston turning knob. This is the all clear model. I just want to uh, briefly show it off. And, and discuss some things that I find interesting. All right. When the cardboard sleeves comes off, you have this uh, plastic box. It is a, uh, a cheaper looking box than some of the other Twisby pens, but I mean, these, this is a, a, a more of an entry level model, uh, so that is to be expected. First thing comes out is a warning. You're not supposed to rub these uh, pens with alcohol. As I've learned, that has to do with the fact that that would discolor the material. A uh, similar thing could be said for other clear pens, for example the uh, M1005 by Pelican. They do not warn you, so we should all be very grateful to Twisby for warning us. Um, here we have the actual pen. There are other things too. For example, silicon grease. Uh, this is actually quite a bit. Uh, I, I have seen them come with less. It's a very liquid uh, grease. It's not the, the very smearable stuff. This is almost like an, an oily solution. Um, it does say that you shouldn't swallow it or contact it with eye, uh, so that's, that's probably a sensible warning. We have the wrench. This is not the metal wrench, it's plastic. I have to say that in a way I like the plastic wrench a little better than the metal one, uh, because I the, the, the metal one is very flat. I find this one easier to hold and manipulate, so that's that's I, I don't dislike that. Um, what's interesting is that they do warn you not to use the metal wrench. Uh, it's it's the, the flat one right there, so you should only use the, the plastic one that, that comes with this pen. As you can see there is some more uh, uh, instructions on, on how to assemble this, assemble it in the box. Uh, and there is yet another sheet of uh, paper with even more information in happy colors on how to uh, fill the pen and what to do and what not to do. So, it's, it's a fairly uh, complete package, I would say, a lot of information. Um, and out, of course, comes the pen. Now, let's look at the pen, cover the parts of the pen, and I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. As I said, I'll do it a little uh, quicker than I might usually do, just because I have reviewed it before. The finial, the top of the cap, right there, uh, it's the Twisby logo and not in a little plastic bubble as on some of the other Twisby models but in a just a, a red uh, plastic. Uh, we have the uh, the clip. The clip is pretty springy. I like that. It's very usable. We have the uh, uh, the, the cap and the white. It's, it's, well, it is white-ish. It's a little less clear than the rest of the cap is the inner cap. Um, I um, uh, don't particularly care for that, but I do know that people have removed them, so I I assume this is to um, uh, stop the nib from drying out. It also looks like it has a bit of a lip that rests against the section, so I don't know if you take it out if your nib is more prone to dry out, but I would have liked it if that would have been completely clear like the rest of the cap, but alright. Uh, you can see the feed. I do think that's really cool. You can see the feed suspended there in the uh, barrel. And then of course you have the barreled ink. There is a um, an ink with uh, glittery stuff in there, so that's why the, the barrel looks a bit odd. Piston turning knob, because it is a, it is a piston filled pen. It, it holds a nice amount of ink, which is very cool. Uh, and I, I do really like that. Okay, finally the section. With a clear section that may be a little hard to show you, but it's it tapers down and it has a little lip there, which is pretty sharp. And then you have a number five nib, it's a steel nib, and uh, you have the, uh, the standard feed, and uh, that's pretty much it. The um, pen can be disassembled, uh, at least uh, partially you can take off the, uh, the piston turning knob, you can use the wrench to unscrew the whole uh, piston housing, uh, but the uh, section in this model does not come off. 
even though there is a little o-ring there but I think that o-ring is there just to uh, keep the cap in place and there you have it so what is fancy about this pen are there specific things I like and don't like well yeah something I, I do like is that the the Twisby models are known for their let's say disassemblability so you can take them apart you can maintain them yourself you can clean them well on this model you can take out the piston but you can't take off the section and you can do that with many of the other Twisby models if not all of the Twisby models actually uh, but with this one it's uh, it's impossible that's not necessarily a bad thing uh, it's just more parts that can break and that can leak uh, so I, I don't think that's a bad thing you can remove the nib and feed and something that I enjoyed is that with some of the other Twisby models I've used I've actually playing a bit here with my fingernail and the fins on that feed some of the other models I've used those fins are extremely soft of a really really soft plastic that breaks and I have had a lot of these where the, the fins just uh, fall out at some point if you remove the nib and feed I mean not just by themselves this seems to be a more robust plastic so pulling out the nib and feed has become a little bit easier uh, and is I think a bit more uh, pleasant uh, that's neat. I, I think it's uh, Twisby has made a, a nice pen. It looks a bit cheaper. I think it, it, it looks cheaper mainly because it's just a cylinder. There is nothing uh, particularly visually appealing to it because many of the other models have facets which just I think just make it look a little bit nicer as a pen. But even so, it's simple and it does what it's supposed to do. And as far as Twisbees go, I, I have to be honest, this may be my favorite model. For the reason that it's really affordable and it works. You can even remove the piston, which is great. That I mean, try doing that on a Pelican M200, that's a lot more difficult. So I really like that. I also like that, that feed that they seem to have used another plastic for it. And of course the most important thing about any pen is it writes. I haven't really had any issues. The nib is smooth, it writes, it flows well. I haven't had, really had problems. Uh, there is a little o-ring right there at the end and that helps you to post the cap. A very secure posting. Uh, then the pen does really get very large. Uh, and also quite top heavy even though it's a lot of plastic I mean it sticks out so far you really start to feel that so I don't think that was really necessary I think if they wanted to do this they probably should have done this in such a way that the cap would post more deeply um, but maybe that's personal preference okay there you have it that was the pen Yoast thanks a lot for sending me this pen I appreciate it uh, if you want to learn more about the pen's dimensions uh, or want to see it up close and personal in high resolution pictures you can go to my website sbobrown.com what remains for us is to do a writing sample that's coming up next I hope this was useful so far and I'm glad to see you later bye bye okay here we go with the Twisby Eco Clear nib is a broad it is on the fine side and the ink is that new Gerbin Caroub uh, Caroub You see, I can't write it. The Chypre. They're with the gold things in it. All right. I would say the nib writes like a medium, uh, more than a broad. But it is a smooth enough writing experience. As you can see, ink flow is consistent. This pen does not seem as prone to running dry as some of the other uh, Twisby models I have used, like the, the VAC Mini. And yes, I did open the uh, valve. It's not an ultra wet writer, but it's by no means dry. Line variation. A little bit. can definitely squeeze out some. I would be a bit careful not to over push this nib. Reverse writing, not really possible. But you can see writing is extremely dry. Alright, a kind thank you to Applebone Pennon. 
uh, I appreciate you sending over the Twisby Eco. Uh, guys, I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later.